Good morning, it is Tuesday and it should be a fun day today. Last night we had a great date night. It was nice to have dinner out with my husband and just have some adult time with no children around. The kids had a great time. They had such a fun time at school. They did all kinds of different activities. Bella brought home a bird feeder. Natalie brought home St. Patrick's Day art. So they just had a really great time. And it was tiring because we got in later, like past when the girls would even normally be asleep in bed. So we got them in and put them down for bed. And it was a, a long night, but it was really fun. So we had a good time last night, but today is exciting uh, because today is Natalie's follow-up ENT appointment, which ENT is ear, nose, throat. And I probably should go into this in a different video, but if you haven't been following us that long or you totally missed what was going on all over summer, um, we went through a lot of like health issues with Natalie basically like she was exhibiting just a lot of behavior that we felt was abnormal and you know we had her evaluated and she was going to see all kinds of therapists and some things fit but some things didn't really fit and as kind of a last ditch thing um, we had her hearing evaluated and it was really quite a process to get to the point because we had to put her in her anesthesia which we really kind of struggled with should we do this should we not do this should we wait till she's older till she's bigger in the end I'm very very glad we decided like literally the day before I had to call the lady back and tell her okay book us we're going to do this um, we ended up deciding to go ahead and have her hearing checked so that way if there was something going on with the hearing we would know early on and I'm so glad that we did because while she was in her anesthesia, they checked her hearing, which her ability to hear turned out to be okay. Um, but what actually turned out to be causing the we'll say we won't say all, but we'll say the majority of her issues was because the pressure in her ears was off and had been off since birth. And uh, what's it's, what it is called is it's, it's rare, it's not common, is eustachian tube dysfunction. And you have a little tube in your ear that is supposed to like flap open and shut to regulate their air. Hers did not open. Um, so her ears were always clogged. The best way the ENT could describe it to me is as if you went up on an airplane, you know how your ears will clog up and you have to kind of swallow to get them to open back up. Her ears were like that, like basically her entire life up until the point that she got tubes put in. So most kids get tubes put in because they have fluid in their ears or something like that. She actually didn't have any fluid, but her tubes are in her ears because I think that tubing in there is so small and then it just, it didn't open correctly. It didn't open how it was supposed to. So she actually has to have the tubes in to be able to hear correctly. It does affect her hearing because it makes everything muffled, which is why when we were doing those hearing tests and I was, I was posting the videos, um, along with like videos that are showing the therapist and she was talking real muffled like she was talking like she was hearing things underwater because she was she would she would hear things like you know ho 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 so that was how she was talking so anyhow put the tubes in miraculous miraculous immediate improvement for us um, totally different kid. The change pretty much happened immediately. She started talking clearer the very same day she got the tubes in that afternoon said words she'd never said before okay so anyways what I started saying when I started crying was and she started singing for the first time too I started crying but I tried to do the health update when I said that as well but for whatever reason that just sets me off so obviously it's going to be a bit of a emotional day I'm not sad I'm, I'm quite happy actually this is probably a side of me that you guys have never seen I will probably leave this in but you will probably never see this again because I don't cry I'm not a crier but the situation has definitely brought it out in me um so we're just we're thrilled because she is very happy now and she's a totally different kid. We're going to the ENT today and what we're hoping is that um, we're hoping that she will get cleared to be able to do swim classes. Now this is a big kind of if because she uh, has the tubes and a lot of time with kids they can just have molded earplugs to be in there but I don't know if it's going to be different for her because the reasons for her having her tubes are different. I don't know if that's going to play into it at all and also any inspe special instructions that we need for the plane flight, which this will be our first plane flight with Natalie, period, and then also as soon as she's had the tubes in. So um, especially because pressure is her issue, I'm very concerned about taking her on a plane, and I want to make sure that we do it correctly. 
Um, so that's what's going on today and um, yeah so it's been a long year <laughs> if you guys have been following us and so this is kind of almost like a culmination of finding out what what's going on and the past six months have been really good. I mean, it's really honestly the first time since Natalie was born that I felt like we've really been able to live normally, that you're not just like trying to constantly figure out what's going on. So, huh, I think I see how today is going to go. So, on that note, I'm going to go wake up the kids. And, um, I mean, it should be a good day. So I'm excited and I'm getting ready to book our Disney trip. If you guys also to do with all the Natalie Air stuff, we were supposed to go to Disney last year. We ended up canceling the trip because we were in the midst of trying to figure out what's going on. And um, so I'm excited. So it should be, honestly, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to book the Disney trip today. I'm going to um, go to her ENT appointment, make sure that she is okay to go on an airplane. And I'm going to come home and I'm going to book our Disney trip. Well, the kids are awake and Natalie has a little bit of a cough, which is not good. We made it the whole year. I take off. Except for one time I think they were both I sick, but I think... Off. Honey, we gotta leave it on for breakfast. She really, really, really had to put the star shirt on. Alright, anyhow. We made it all year. I think both of them only been sick one time this year. I think she might have picked up a little cough last night at the mom's day out. She might have picked up a little cough at school last night. You need a wipe there for that, buddy? Hold on a second. All right, we took Sissy to school. Natalie's back there having a little snack. And we are going to head into her appointment a little bit, so fingers crossed this should hopefully go good. Hopefully mommy will keep her crying to a minimum. <laughs> oh. Hey, thumbs up, very good appointment. We are good to go on flying. We are good to go on swim class. Our tubes look good and there you have it. It's just good, good, good. So we've got a little bit of time before we've got to go get Sissy at school. So I'm going to go actually go run and get some more cat food. So you know where we're headed. And then we're going to get Sissy at school and go home for playtime. Hooray! Yay! You did good. She did real good. Oh, I'm such a sucker. <laughs> So Natalie ended up with popcorn again. It's becoming a target tradition. So we ran in to get cat food. That's seriously the only thing I got when I was in there. I got four cans of cat food. And, well, popcorn for her, so I guess I can't say that. But um, we are going to go pick up Bella at school. And we had an interesting thing happen as we were coming out. We live in an area where I'm not from. And I don't really know that many people here. Although it is starting to happen where I bump into people that I know from Zumba. And just... Um, you know, teachers from their schools and activities, some class and that sort of thing. We were just walking out of Target and we were at such a distance, I can't tell whether I recognize the person or I can't place where I know them from. But what was interesting is they didn't recognize me, they, they recognized her. They said, oh, is that Natalie? They really narrow, that really narrows it down because Natalie doesn't do that many activities. So I'm trying to figure out if it's a teacher from her school <laughs> or how they knew us. <laughs> went, hi! And just kept going. <laughs> and she was like, oh, hi! And so, if you guys see me when I'm out, feel free to say hi. Don't come up and knock on my car doors when I'm vlogging, because that will freak me out. But, <laughs> if I'm just walking around, feel free to say hi. So, anyhow, I just, I can't place where we would know her from, or where specifically she would know Natalie from. Ah! <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna go pick up Bella now. And off we go. All right, I'm gonna get the girls lunch and then get the cats lunch. And you guys are lucky because we had a ton of leftover food from last night, so they're gonna have leftovers. We ordered one of those appetizer samplers. So I'm digging off of that to find them things. Apparently Natalie liked the quesadillas because her quesadilla is almost gone. <laughs> All right, cats are fed. It's becoming their lunchtime too. Kids are still eating. What you doing, Natalie? And I'm gonna go get them some more fruit. You got it? Bella wanted to help with the cat food. And we're gonna have a bit of playtime. So today was a particularly bad day, but look at the gigantic mess underneath the table from Natalie eating one meal. One. <laughs> I've gotta sweep and probably vacuum this. 
All right, I've got pork carnitas in the crock pot. That's going for dinner, and we're gonna have a bit of playtime, and it'll be rest time. So we're gonna have a little bit of playtime, and then it's gonna be time to go take a rest. Probably sooner rather than later, considering what's going on over here. It's pretty much what it's looked like for the past 10 minutes. Hello! Are you going in the tunnel? <laughs> Careful. Don't push it down. Get in there with her if you want to. <laughs> it was cute. Natalie's going, come on, Sissy, this way. She wants you to go with her, Isabella. Don't drag her around. She wants you to go in there with her. Will you go in there with her? She was saying, come on, Sissy, go in there with me. She wants you to go in and play with her. Come on, Natalie. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's like a random foot pops out. Oh, goodness. Here, you want your stuffed animals? Here. Here you go. Here's another one. This is what Natalie started doing at night. There's Mickey. Yeah. You got them all? <laughs> Good night. Ah! I love you. I'm going to take the picture. You want me to take your picture? Yeah. Mm, so cute. Good night. Good night. So you found your frozen hat. <laughs> Three dreams. Those chests. As a trash can, I think it's a refrigerator and a stove. The kids are both laying down resting, and I have to be honest, I'm tired today. I'm usually not tired like in the middle of the day, but I'm pretty tired today. So it's just been a long day all the way around, but good nonetheless. So I have got to do editing to actually get the video uploaded today that you're going to be watching today which was yesterday when you're watching this. <laughs> and uh, anytime we do something at night, like last time we went on the date night, that puts me a day behind on editing. So then I have to play like the next day, trying to play catch up to get back on top of it. So, cause I usually like to prep it during nap time, get everything prepped and ready to go. So I can just drop the files in, do the final editing and finalize it the following day during nap time or when I get a chance to. But now I've got to do the full editing shebang right now. So, I'm going to try to get that done real quick, and I have a feeling this is going to be a really long vlog today, so we may cut like the rest of the day fairly short, so we'll see. Alright, so it is nap time. It is later. It is much later. Bella's up from nap. Natalie's still sleeping. She's sleeping at a really late back time. Probably going to have to go wake her up, but I'm going to make the girls some banana oatmeal cookies real quick, and these are the ones where you just smash a banana up and then mix it with some oatmeal you can add in peanut butter it's optional i am not adding them in ours Bella's in the bathroom by the way <laughs> and um so yes i'm gonna make banana oatmeal cookies now <laughs> banana and oatmeal it's as easy as that so i'm just gonna this is just a single one banana one oatmeal i may actually make a double and then pop it in the oven. I believe it's 350 for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna have to double check on that. And then it should have some uh, banana oatmeal cookies. <laughs> Does the duck say quack quack? <laughs> Natalie's over here going quack quack quack. So we're having a little snack. Bella's having some oatmeal. And we're gonna play for a little bit and then daddy should be home in a little bit. What do you think? Do you like the oatmeal cookies? They're still a little hot. She tested it, but they're still a little hot. Is it good to go now? Are they good? Yeah, I think these are a new favorite. Are you doing some organizing for me? Yeehaw! 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 So I want to figure out some of these books that I could take up to Natalie's room because she needs some more books up there because unfortunately she's at that stage where books kind of, Bella went through the same stage, books kind of lose their life. <laughs> and when they're put in her room for room time and when she wakes up and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna figure out which books, for lack of a better word, are expendable <laughs> that can go to her room and possibly never come out. So I'm gonna go through and see if I can 
find some books that would be good to go to her room. I may just go buy some more board books. Because there's some like this one. I mean, I, I guess I could just replace it. I really like this book though, and I'd like to have a copy down here. But this one you can see has gotten worn, and so I may do that too. Just get a better copy for down here. Where they get a little bit better taken care of. <laughs> Bella went through the same phase. It's around like two and a half. You just lose a good handful of books. But I like to have books in their room, so I don't want to, I don't want to forego that. So I'll do two. Five oranges. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. <laughs> I'm in a reading mood. We're more in a squealing Yeehaw. mood right now. Yeehaw! Stuff and you got your Doc McStuffin book? I think Natalie's picking out which book she wants to take to her room here. Um, yo ho! Let's go! Yo ho! Let's go! I got you back. Alright, the pork carnitas for dinner are done, or the meat's done anyhow, so I just have to shred the pork real quick and then mix it together with the tomatoes and all of that and then plop it in some tortillas. I've got some black beans going over there. I've got the cat's attention down there. <laughs> so we're going along here. So that's it for our vlog day and all is well as in, all's well that ends well. It was a pretty good day. So we'll see you tomorrow for another day in life. Thanks for watching, bye.